If I was going to describe Max and Roswell, New Mexico as anything, it would definitely be dedication. Because even though that man is in a coma, he is still actively trying to kill himself. Hi guys, my name is Maria Park and this is Approach to Nerd. And in this episode of Roswell Season 2, Episode 5, entitled I'll Stand By You, I'm going to do a very brief summary because I think most of the stuff that's really going to happen is going to be in episode 10, which I'm going to watch when I'm done with this video, which means I'll probably be posting these back to back. Um, but this was a good episode. Basically, everyone has realized at this point that Max is trying to kill himself. They initially think it's because he's in so much pain, but it's actually because he believes there's something dark in him. And if they bring him back, it comes with him. Um, so I'm just going to go over the highlights of this episode again. Um, Alex and Maria had a very cute moment where they talk about Michael Guerin and where um, she asked Michael to basically help her hack into her mother's laptop. Um, the conversation where she asked him why he isn't mad at her for basically going after her, you know, his, true, his lover, basically, even though it's his ex. Um, right after she found out that he was in there, you know, she could, she didn't back off is what she was basically saying. And he's like, I can't really fault anyone for falling in love with Michael Guerin. And I'm like, there you go. <laughs> like, um, but they break, they do, they do get into the laptop and they do see some weird emails, but Maria decides that her mother needs her privacy. And so she doesn't pursue reading any of the information, which I think is interesting because she wants to know who took her mother, but she doesn't want to take her mother who basically is mentally unstable at this point. She doesn't want to take information from her private, her laptop privacy because her mother apparently had a password put on it. So she's like under the assumption that if her mother wanted me to read it, then she would have had a password put on it. And I'm like, what kind of logic is that? And they're like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> but whatever. Um, but yeah, so Alex uses that statement to say, yeah, people keep secrets for a reason, <laughs> you know, basically implying about Liz and everybody else because she's mad at them still for keeping all the alien stuff from her. Um, Liz is gung-ho to do the transplant for Noah's heart into Max because, you know, Max fried the machine keeping him alive. So the eight weeks they need to regenerate the heart, they don't have anymore. So even if it's like him being able to see, you know, the last, or spend the last moments with his loved ones, she wants to do the transplantation. And of course, Kyle, as, as usual, she calls uh, Kyle. And as he said, you called and I broke the speed limit. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. Um, but yeah, that's their plan. Isabel is kind of gung-ho with her brother dying, even though you would think she'd be the last character that was on board with that. But she tells Michael that, you know, she basically had an abortion. You know, she was pregnant. She had to make that decision on her own. And her brother's in that much pain, and he it's his choice. Um, but when she goes to confirm it via Rosa, meaning she went to this poor girl who basically, her, she was killed by Isabel's body. Yes, inhabited by Noah, but it was Isabel's body. Um, she goes to this girl and she knocks her over the head with a book, knocks her unconscious. And I'm like, Isabel, do you not understand trauma? <laughs> like, but anyway, so they go into Mike's, uh, Max's subconsciousness and she's talking to him. And at first she's like letting him go. But then Rosa kind of, you know, pretty much says that's not the real reason you're really doing this. And, you know, Max basically has to come clean about the darkness in him. And so Isabel didn't have any of that. So she goes to Liz and says, we'll do the trans, you know, transplant. Um, if he survives, I will be the one that will take all that negative energy. I will take him on, basically. So I think that's going to happen in episode 10. It's going to be interesting. Um, so they do, they do the transplant. Um, Michael comes through with a pacemaker that he made in like... 14 hours? I mean, the guy is brilliant. <laughs> I mean, he's brilliant. He, um, he At first, he was kind of standoffish. He, he was fixing, um, I think it's, I want to say it's Max's truck that wouldn't run, or Jeep. And um, he's doing things to basically fix Max without going to see Max and dealing with Max's issues. Because Max is the one person in his life that never gave up on him and pushed to be in his life. Everybody else, Michael feels, is just going to leave. But Max was always there since when they were children. So this is really hard for, for Michael. And I think that him making that pacemaker and also what he says, he's like, it's basically me, you, and Isabel. Like, we're family. He basically, that's his, that is him finally coming to the realization that Max is his brother. Now they're not just friends, they're not just fellow aliens, that's his brother. And they don't just have Isabel in common. Um, and 
I did like that Alex had a flashback about the fact that Michael was acting out and thought he was in love with Max. <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that was really funny. That scene was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I, I love the fact that Michael is now opening himself to the fact that Isabel and Max are his family. You no, know, it's not just the two siblings, it's three of them. Um, but yeah, so basically the heart is failing. The pacemaker is failing. Rosa is coming to stop them prior to um, Isabel locking her in the closet after she comes to, because I guess she figured she's probably touched by Max and Max was going to use her to carry out his, his evil self, you know, self-inflicting suicide attempt. <laughs> but she comes in and her, her sister is like losing it. So Liz is not doing well. And no matter what happens, um, Rosa is Liz's older sister. It doesn't matter that they are now, you know, unfortunately ages apart she is still the oldest she still has a protective nature for liz and she sees her baby sister crying and in agony so she convinces them to start charging his heart again because the reason that the surgery is failing is because they don't have charges strong enough to jump start his heart like it's just the electrical volts aren't strong enough even on max but rosa uses her hand to like basically she creates electricity and, and manages to basically save max so Rosa, Rosa was going there to stop him from being saved and ended up saving him. <laughs> and so, irony. <laughs> um, but end of the episode, we see that Isabel is about to take on Max, who looks evil, kind of. He has like a dark, brooding type thing going on. Kind of like Tobey Maguire did in Spider-Man 3. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it, the way they're living it off, it looks like they're getting ready to have like a Mortal Kombat style fight. So I don't know. She basically said, um, if you came back evil, I was going to kill you. So that looks like where that is ending off right in that point at that point. Um, but overall, it was not a bad episode. I mean, it's I love Roswell, New Mexico, but, you know, they have a lot of action, but it's like in spurts. So, like, you have character development, but then you have spurts of action, which I shouldn't complain about because the CW normally does one or the other. So, at least this is consistent in both levels. But I'm hoping episode 10 is a little bit more interesting, but we will see. Um, but in general, I still like the show. I'm going to continue to review the show and I'm going to continue to watch the show because I've loved the Roswell series since the, the books in my high school years by Melinda Metz. If you have not read them or read them, please check them out. They are awesome. But that is my opinion, guys. I want to know what you guys think, so please leave me a comment below and let me know. And if you'd like to sign up for Jury Duty, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to know who's next on the Nerd Bell, hit the notification bell. Until next time, I can't wait for you to approach the nerd. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it, but hey, the party doesn't have to stop now. Click on one of these videos and keep it going.